Hey, welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we are talking about the two flavors of Internet Explorer 10 available in Windows 8. Now, Windows 8 is kind of an hybrid operating system. Half of the operating system acts a little bit like uh, Windows 7, for example, with a desktop. And this is pretty much what we call the desktop mode. And half of the operating system acts in tile mode, which is the Windows 8 mode. And it will reflect on some of the apps that you have installed. Some of them are desktop mode only, some are Windows 8 mode only, but some of them are hybrid and actually act as two different ways. In Windows 8, of course, they've included Internet Explorer 10. And Internet Explorer 10 asks, uh, will actually act as two different versions depending on where you will click on it. And one word of caution, you might look at my video and say, I don't have all that option available. Some PC makers will actually have deactivated the Metro or Windows 8 tile of Internet Explorer and actually you'll be only in desktop mode because some of the PC makers are kind of scared that you might get lost and don't understand Internet Explorer 10 probably call their tech support line a little too often so they've just put the Internet Explorer 10 in regular desktop mode so that when you try to when you go on the internet you'll actually know what to do because you'll remember that is the same as in Windows uh, 7, for example. But if your PC has not been tampered with, you'll access two types of Internet Explorer 10. There's the Windows 8 Internet Explorer 10, which is available from the tile menu at the start screen. And if you click on it, you see this nice little effect where it will bring you Internet Explorer 10. And this will actually act as a full screen browser with almost no nothing, no toolbars, no address bar. And you're wondering where do I type my address if I want to go to my uh, website, for example. So that's the first thing and that can be quite a shock for newcomers. Of course, you can access all the information of your Internet Explorer 10. One, you can access through the Charm screen. If, of course, if you go into the settings of the Charm screen, you'll have Internet Options, for example. So that's where it hides. Remember, the Charms settings menu is dependent on the app that is actually running on your computer. So it will act like that with, it, with all the apps. If you need to type in an address, for example, you want to go to Facebook and saying, okay, two things you can do. You can actually go here in the middle and type Facebook and search for Facebook, which will work. You know, you can type Facebook and here you go. You have the welcome to Facebook screen. So this is the first one. Um, the other one is that you can see now that at the bottom, you have actually have the address bar show up. And when you're in a screen and you're thinking okay um, now it's disappeared how do I get it back well you can um, two things if you have a touch screen you can swipe up and you'll see the bar will show up from the bottom so you go from the bottom of the screen you swipe up and you'll have that uh, address bar show up or if you're on a regular laptop desktop no touch screen or even if you have your touch screen, you can right click anywhere on the Internet Explorer screen. And here you'll have the tabs that are at the top going to show up. And you have the address bar at the bottom is going to show up. So that's the Metro or Windows 8 version of Internet Explorer. Now, let's go back. Let's click the um, Windows key on the keyboard to go back to the start screen. Where is the desktop version of Internet Explorer? What you have to do is actually click on your desktop tile. So here I go. 
and there's the tile for my desktop. It is probably somewhere on your screen. I have not seen any machines that didn't have that desktop tile. So uh, just you know, find your desktop tile, click on it, or touch it if you're in a touch screen, and there you'll have the desktop. What looks like a desktop, and don't be fooled, this is not a real desktop per se. It is an app that imitates pretty much the way the desktop works. So don't think of Windows 8 as being a Windows 7 with a new UI on top with tiles. It's not the case, it's really a new operating system with an app that acts like a desktop. And there you'll have in the taskbar at the bottom the little Internet Explorer icon and this one if you click on it acts exactly like Internet Explorer in other versions of Windows so you have your toolbars at the top you have your tabs at the top and you have your uh, address bar available and of course on the right side you have your little options wheel your uh, favorites and the little home icon to come back to your home page. So this is the real deal of the desktop version of Internet Explorer 10. Now don't uh, think too much of uh, this being the same Internet Explorer acting differently. It's not exactly true. Um, they seem to have done kind of two explorers one that acts like the old version and a new one that is Metro or Windows 8 style. So keep in mind that it's kind of two different explorers. What's interesting is that you can actually have one page, one home page in the one and one home page in the other. If you notice my Windows 8 version of Internet Explorer at Google is the start page and my desktop version of Internet Explorer is the MSN Canada page, Microsoft page. So you see that it's different pages for different web browsers. And this is where you see that it's not the same browser because you could not have this two different start pages on the same browser. So What's cool about it is the fact that you can go to a more classic version of Internet Explorer and I think that's fun because if you're used to using uh, Internet Explorer in Windows 7, Vista or even in Windows XP, at least here you'll be in, um, it, it's going to be a familiar way of working. You'll have your toolbars you'll have the settings that are on the upper right uh, and it acts really basically very much like Internet Explorer so if that's the way you like to work uh, then you know that by the desktop you can actually go to that Internet Explorer experience that you are used to in the past and uh, for those who are more adventurous like me for example or if you've got a touch um, device, a touch uh, laptop, a desktop with a touch screen, or of course a Windows 8 tablet, I think it's more intuitive to use the Internet Explorer tile with its way of working because you can just tap the screen or swipe on the screen to get all the options, which is pretty much a very natural way of working when you have a touch screen. So I will probably think that if you have a touch device you'll be using the tile which is much more intuitive and if you are of the old computer age with a regular non-touch screen laptop or desktop you will probably um, prefer to use the desktop version to get the functionalities that you're used to. So that is the main difference between the Windows 8 and desktop versions of Internet Explorer 10. So don't be afraid uh, and no you're not crazy because one of the things that I've noticed is a few of uh, my clients that have Windows 8 actually told me 
is it normal that I have kind of two different Internet Explorers and people just don't understand why or how they get those and it's basically simply the fact that you get your Windows 8 version on the tile and you've got your um, regular Explorer. One little uh, note here, you can change that option and there's going to be a video for that on how to change for example your desktop tile to have the desktop the start menu you'll have your desktop version of Explorer instead of the uh, Windows 8 type so maybe you'll be annoyed with the new one and want to go back to a more uh, older Windows Explorer Internet Explorer look so there's going to be a video showing you how to um, actually change the tile for a desktop version instead of a Windows 8 Metro style version. So this was a little video showing you the two flavors of Internet Explorer, the desktop and the start menu Windows 8 Internet Explorer 10. If you enjoyed these videos, click the subscribe button, you'll be informed when new videos are online. And if you have any comments or questions, hey, let us know, we'll try to answer any questions that you might have. And um, if you have a request of a video you'd like to see, a function you don't understand, you'd like to have a video explaining how to use it, let us know. We'll try to put a video online for you. So, hope you enjoy these videos and hope you come back often to the official Windows 8 channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.